So today we have a vlogging interview with Velvet Elvis. So I first heard about Velvet Elvis because they kept on appearing on my Instagram and on Facebook. And I've walked past a few times and thought that looks like a really cool place to walk into. So here I am. I'm finally taking that curiosity to a new level. And we're meeting Dawn. Um, and she's going to hopefully um, tell us how she came up with the concept um, and how she made the concept happen and how she made the story reality. Hi Dawn, I'm Farah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so first of all, what's what's going on in this part of the shop? This is um, well, actually the window here. Yeah. Um, this is where I sit making jewellery. Ah, oh, um, brilliant. That's just um, a lot of people are attracted in by people making yeah. things in stores. Yeah. Um, we also sell vintage clothing. Yeah. So I sell our clothing from various warehouses throughout the UK. Oh, fantastic. I also sell home gifts. Yeah. Cards. Candles. Yeah. Um, I make a lot of the candles and home gifts myself as well. Oh, brilliant. Busy also, lady. Yes, my son is also very good at woodwork, so he does a lot of the um, the woodwork in the shop as well. Oh, fantastic. And then I also display a lot of um, the jewellery I make too. Yeah. Um, most of the shop's made out of recycled things. It's oh, made wow. out of pallets, um, yeah. plumber's python, yeah. um, cable reels. Wow. Um, the second part yeah. of the ground floor, we have a few chairs just so the yeah. just pe disabled people have access really. Oh, that's really people. great. Yeah. I guess it makes an atmosphere as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does when there's people up here. Yeah. Yeah. But we've also got a few goods around about as well for the sale. Yeah. Uh, oh, stores fantastic. Yeah, that's great. That's really exciting. And then upstairs we have the main part of the cafe. Oh, brilliant. Can we take a look up there? Yeah. We're walking upstairs to the cafe in Velvet Elvis. So I'm sat down here with Dawn in the seating area. Um, so Dawn, first question, how did you come up with the concept of Velvet Elvis? Um, well, I hadn't craft silver jewellery. Yeah. I started off on a oh, Saturday market stall yeah. up in Durham. Yeah. Um, and I worked next door to somebody who sold vintage clothing. We decided just to join forces. Yeah. And we thought that the clothes and the jewellery would complement each other. Yeah. Oh, great. And, and how long ago was that? It was a year gone in December, so we've only oh. been up and running just over a year. And so, what was opening day like? What was the first day like opening the shop? Hectic. Yeah. <laughs> but fabulous. Um, yeah. We had a lot of young people helping us actually. Yeah. And there was a couple of students actually came in and helped us tag things up yeah. at the last minute. And we opened up just before Christmas. Yeah. So, um, you know, obviously really busy yeah. before Christmas too. Uh, how did you manage to get the funds to start such an exciting place? Um, <laughs> we didn't actually borrow a lot of money. Okay. Um, we didn't get any like loans from any banks or yeah. anything. Uh, what we did was we used, uh, we recycled everything. Oh, wow. So we went around friends initially yeah. to see if they had any old furniture. Yeah. And, um, we were quite overwhelmed by the amount we, yeah. we got actually. And trundled around uh, second hand shops yeah. for tables and chairs. Oh, wow. Recycled pallets, yeah. um, cable reels from the building site yeah. along the riverside oh, wow. here. Uh, anything we could get, really, all yeah. bits of wood for to patch things up. <laughs> so the whole it's place amazing. really was yeah. just thrown together on a budget. But you can't you can't tell when no, you come in. No, well that's what people have said, and they, they actually absolutely love the atmosphere and yeah. the way that we have, yeah. um, you know, created the yeah. shop and cafe. How do you create that atmosphere? A mixture, really, um, but mostly I've got to give credit to the cafe staff. Thank you very much. We have just been told how great the staff are here as well. Ah, so. it's nice to hear that. <laughs> that is what you think of us, Dawn. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. And a very, very beautiful boss as well. Aww. <laughs> Smooth talk, <laughs> Thank you for the coffee. Enjoy. And so, who are the majority of your customers? What kind of We age have group? a big mix of customers, actually. Yeah. A lot of students. Yeah. Uh, Probably afternoonish for the students. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was walking through town today. It's just dead. Mm. Yeah, but we do get a great mix. Again, we get old age pensioners coming yeah. in. We get young people oh, coming wow. in. Obviously, because I do a good range of jewellery yeah. as well at sort of affordable prices. A yeah. good range of prices. Yeah. What kind of? So obviously you have the shop front, so that's good footfall. Mm -hmm. So what other forms of marketing do you use to get new customers or keep customers coming back? 
we obviously use social media quite yeah. a bit. Um, Instagram. Yeah. We use a lot of Facebook. Yeah. Um, and what kind of things do you put on Instagram and Facebook? What kind of things work for you? Instagram usually we put on um, deals of the day for the cafe. Yeah. Um, photographs of any new jewellery that yeah. I might make and any new clothing we might have in store. Um, and TripAdvisor. Yeah. We ask people whether it be a good or a bad review to, <laughs> to review us on TripAdvisor. Yeah. We're number one on TripAdvisor, not yeah. sure we're number oh, one, number wow. two we're bordering on, yeah. but most of the comments are about the staff, oh, how wow. comfortable they make people feel, yeah. it's like a second home, oh, um, and people just love coming back for that. So Dawn, what were you doing before you were doing all your jewellery? Teaching. Teaching? Yes, wow, that's such yes. a change. I started making jewellery yeah. because um, I've got an autistic daughter, so oh, yeah. it was sort of a little bit of respite for me. Yeah. And as I sort of, as I started to make more things, yeah. um, I applied for a market stall yeah. on a Saturday. Started selling a market stall, and then I actually got um, hmm. a Stepping Up Durham Award. Oh, so wow. I, I won Small Business That's of really the Year. Amazing. So, did you ever expect to see yourself as a shop owner, as an entrepreneur, small business owner? No. <laughs> I must admit, my daughter spurred me on a lot. Yeah. Um, being autistic, obviously, yeah. she's going to have uh, problems getting employment. Yeah. Once she leaves education, so a lot of it and a lot of motivation. I'm motivated mm. by that, thinking, yeah. you know, if I can keep it going, then it, yeah. at the end of the day, she will have a job. Yeah. I guess what motivates you is kind of your passion for jewellery and yeah. your and your art that you're doing, and mm -hmm. also being able to support your family yeah. and not only support them but also give them opportunity. Yeah. yeah. And how did you come up with the name Velvet Elvis? Well, it was a song yeah. by a lady years ago, Velvet yeah. Elvis, obviously about Elvis. <laughs> and I can't remember her name, it was something right. Winston. So oh, okay. And we just loved the name. Oh so. good, and it fits. Yes. Well, thank you very much Dawn. That's You're very well. really great. Mm, and everyone you. should come here because they do great yoghurts. <laughs> What's the speciality yoghurt? It's the Superfood Granola Yoghurt. Superfood Granola Yoghurt.